President Biden appeared to get rattled for about 30 seconds there after losing his mask at an outdoor rally in Georgia. This despite him being fully vaccinated. He's also pledging to keep wearing a mask outside, even though his own CDC tells the rest of the country, all of us, upstages him this week in a press conference of her own, the CDC director, to tell us that we don't have to wear masks outside any longer if we've been vaccinated. It's a small precaution to take that has a profound impact. It's a patriotic responsibility, for God's sake. Kaylee, it's a patriotic responsibility to go against your own CDC. Maybe that's why Dr. Walensky popped up out of nowhere last <laughs> this week and went first and upstaged the president. Yeah, that, that's right. I mean, it, it's incredible. He is waging the biggest vaccine hesitancy campaign in history. No He's having doubt. a panic attack on stage. Yeah, a panic attack on stage <laughs> because he can't find his mask going against, as you note, his own CDC director. And in that clip you just played, just previous to that portion of the soundbite, he said to Craig Melvin, hey, I know we're both vaccinated. Right now we're socially distanced, but even though we're both vaccinated, if we weren't socially distanced, we would be wearing mask. What clue does that tell America? Even when we are all vaccinated in Joe Biden's America, the mask is here to stay for no scientific reason. I don't know if people are going to continue to listen to him on this issue if his words don't match his actions. Uh, Buck? Well, look, for Biden, this is now this is now the pseudo-religious significance almost of, of mask wearing as being a good person. This is what the vir this is virtue signaling. It's, it's oh. what people that listen to the science do all along. When actually, if you look at the data, the risk for unvaccinated people outside when it comes to transmission is very low. In fact, Fauci described it as minuscule about a week ago. So what do we have here? The lab coat tyrants at the CDC who have gotten things wrong time and time again have finally ratcheted it back a little bit. But the Democrat hysteria is such that they only listen to the science they like when they like it. And you see this with Biden. You'll see this with a lot. Maybe we can get him one of those chains you put your reading glasses on, except for his mask. You know what I mean? So that way he won't lose. Oh, they have those on Amazon. <laughs> they I'm they sure, do. I'm sure they, I'm uh, sure they do. <laughs> you know, they have everything on Amazon. So, Emily, look, we, we don't want to get too ticky tack here, but does he realize that he's talking people out of getting the vaccine? I mean, is this is this anti-Trump hate behavior on his part or is it something else? Because, you know, former President Trump did the Operation Warp Speed deals that brought this on through with the vaccination. Is this Biden's way of pushing against the president, the former one? And if he really intended to do that, should he have gone and gotten his vaccine in December? I think at a minimum, it's sending that message from those in his inner circle whose message is he himself puppets. And look, I feel for the guy for looking around. I've, I've been that guy that has been looking for my glasses and it's been on my face or things like that. But it's really undercutting that message of the vaccine efficacy really in a fundamental way. And I'm not quite sure why no one in his circle has pointed out that if he's outside and doesn't wear a mask, that that is the largest symbol supporting the vaccine efficacy that he can do. And as our commander in chief, I hope he sees that light despite all of the messages he's been uh, told by his inner circle clearly or the rest of the party. I hope he comes through and realizes that for himself. It's a great point. Maybe they are telling him. And, you know, you don't want anybody to wrest the power of the pulpit from your hands when that's the issue that ushered you into office. So maybe he just doesn't want to give it up.